I'm Harold Rosen. I'm the editor-in-chief of Hamdan Medical Journal. Today we are talking about communication. And communication is one of the most important abilities of humans. However, communication needs hearing and talking. So today we are very happy that we can welcome Professor Schneider Stickler from Vienna University Department of ENT who will tell us about the most recent research in this field. Thank you. Communication is a very important topic, as you already told the listeners. And we are focusing a changing in communication. There is no profession anymore where you don't need your voice. You have to talk, you have to present, you have to communicate. So, and we have an increasing number of people with voice disorders, with vocal fatigue, with voice complaints. And if we talk about vocal or voice professions, then we have already a number of more than 50 to 60 percent confronting with voice problems, throat clearing like this. And we as a discipline, as a specialty for voice disorders, the ENT, has to improve the diagnostic tools, we have to improve uh, the treatment of these people, and we have to uh, improve the, pro uh, the, the uh, prevention of occupational voice disorders. And we can do it by, by voice training, we can do it by speech pathology uh, support, we have to do sometimes phonosurgery to treat people with vocal complaints, with alterations of the vocal folds. And so it's really important, if you have problems with your voice, if you feel hoarse, then please go and see a doctor who will do the right diagnostics and the right therapy. Thank you very much. I mean, for the daily routine of a general practitioner, of a family medicine uh, doctor. What can you specifically offer from your field for people with these kind of problems? First of all, it's very important if there is hoarseness in a patient, even if he is coming maybe because of heart problems, then listen to the voice and send him to an otolaryngologist, to an ENT specialist. Uh, hoarseness after three weeks need to be examined because sometimes we have a lot of smokers in our population. We have to be aware is there maybe a cancer treatment, an early stage of cancer because of the hoarseness. Yeah? So we have to find out is there anything going on in the throat and so please don't give them just antibiotics. Please send them to a specialist. Thank you very much for coming to us. Thank you. Thank you.